Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another mail haul video and some slight pickups. You know, with being in this pandemic and stuff like that, it's limiting where I can go and who I'm interacting with and what stores I can go into. But I did order some things and I also picked up some things. So that's a good thing. So let's go ahead and dive into one of the boxes I received. This is a box from, I don't even know, oh, Entertainment Earth. So, first mailbox, gotta, gotta have your trusty knife. Always loved the uh, Glenn Webb Stanley X-Acto blade, but I would never, never sit there and be like, oh, I got Stanley. No, that's his thing. All right, so. Packing slip. And then we got ourselves another toxic crusader really they like send it in a box and that's the bubble wrap you get from entertainment earth that's a little i don't know how i feel about that and i do apologize that it changes because like this background is a lot brighter so when i'm shifting around it's gonna dim and refocus if you guys know what cameras do so let's go ahead and crack this open and I know some of you are like, I already saw, I already saw the review. Well, this review is going to be, well, it's not this right now, but it's going to be in the future. I'm going to review, well, it's an exclusive. So this we'll discuss in a second here, but uh, got the glow in the dark Toxy. Awesome. I'm going to have him uh, set up as the normal Toxic Avenger. One of the pickups I found at a Target when I was just going in there. I don't even know why I went in there. But uh, I did find my first spawn in the wild. This is the axe spawn, if you guys can see the axe. And uh, yeah, I mean, I got it just for the axe because I have the sword one. Uh, a buddy of mine actually picked up the sword spawn for me. He's been holding on to it for a little bit. We haven't met up, but... I was going to get this because I wanted the axe, and I was like, hey, I could use another spawn, but my buddy Nate Simmons, he's been really looking for this one, so I'm just like, you know what, I got the sword one coming, the axe is cool, but he really wants it, so I'm like, I'll just, I'm just going to send it to you, you know, Nate looks out for everybody else, so I figured uh, I will sacrifice this and the axe to get it for him, but it's cool that I actually found that in the wild, and I'm gonna still have one and plus i did the kickstarter for the uh special classic crazy edition um that mcfarland toys was doing and so we got some more we have ourselves another box i keep putting i'm like where did i put the knife so when we're dealing with this box this box came from toy co good old andrew yen the man, the myth, the legend behind Toy Co. And uh, all my pre-orders. Like, tons of my pre-orders. That's why I always, you know, anybody, any any of these shops or places that I pick up stuff that I recommend, it's because I've had great experiences with purchases. So, I may say, you know, check out Toy Co. You may see Toy Co. in the thing. I am not getting free stuff from Toy Co. Like, I'm not getting you know anything free so i don't want you guys to be like oh you're just promoting it because you get free figures no not at all if that was the case i'd be like you know sporting storm collectibles or uh you know was it bluefin or something like that i don't know go check out uh d amazing i mean he he's in pretty pretty close with the storm collectible guys i mean he always has all the storm collectibles uh so this came tissue paper and all i'm taking it off now I, almost te I was tempted to get two of these sets, but I just needed one because who doesn't want some really nice articulated skeletons? And these are Golden Axe skeletons. 
come with shields and swords pretty awesome so you can really have them fighting your you know army of darkness ash if you have a you know any ashes being mezco neca uh you can have them be just in a pit if you have your mortal combat set up and you have a dio of a pit or something but really cool stuff um and i, I was really tempted to get a total of four because i mean you could have some really good scenes you know set up some figures fighting a, a, a horde of skeletons so that's pretty awesome so i always got to give a shout out to toy co um because i mean they give me my storm collectibles fix uh, my import fix if i want figma sh figure arts uh mafex or math mafex whatever you guys want to call it but that's that's really what i like toy co it gets to me from all the way to the opposite side of the country in tissue paper crispy as can be no box damage totally opposite side of the country going through mail it's it's pretty awesome so that's a huge i just i'm sort of getting sidetracked because i'm looking at them in person these things look awesome i can't wait to review them so we have that since we're on the subject of storm collectibles and one thing that's sort of feeling like i'm getting bent over on this whole type of collecting realm right now so we got storm collectibles they just announced their san diego comic con or convention exclusive mortal Kombat storm collectibles figures we are getting raiden who is in his player two colors it's just a red outfit and it's like you're releasing raiden at 70 dollars in player two and you haven't even released player one we've been waiting for player one and also where's Liu Kang and Katana that you showed off. Where's the Mortal Kombat 3 Sub Zero with the line going down his face? So there's so much that Storm is showing and like revealing, and they've revealed a while ago and just haven't really brought to the to the light. I mean, you got Mentaro coming, which I'm not interested in at all. And they decide, besides Raiden, to release another Scorpion. Yeah, you heard me. Another Scorpion. He looks like he could be classified as the Mortal Kombat 2 Scorpion. Ooh, I thought we already got a Mortal Kombat 2 mixed with the Mortal Kombat 1. But they seem to be backtracking a little bit. And I hope I'm not going to have to rebuy all those ninjas again. Because if you compare the, we'll say the old uh, ninjas, you know, the Mortal Kombat 1, 2 ninjas, to the more Mortal Kombat 3 ninjas they're releasing, scale-wise, they really are don't fit in a sense. They're just different body styles which is okay because like they're the Mortal Kombat 1 ninjas they're sort of slenderish normal ninja guys and then when Mortal Kombat 3 came out they started like making the guys all just jacked you know steroids and all that crazy stuff but you're releasing a Mortal Kombat 2 scorpion with the flaming skull head a chain spear some a bunch of flame effects and it has the Mortal Kombat 2 grill and it's just like it's really grinding my gears about that. It's just like I feel like, man, you're 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 in a sense because I want that flame and skull head. I love the chain idea. It's a real chain with the spear on it. You're 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 forcing me to almost to get another one, and I'll have three scorpions. So now, if they're gonna do that, so that means I'll have a Mortal Kombat one, two, and a three scorpion, and it's like that's probably the max I'll do. But why are you doing that? Why are you releasing another ninja? I know you have that mold because you used it with, uh, you know, the recent Sub-Zero that didn't have the proper head, you know, and you showed off some other, you know, Sub-Zeros with frozen arms, with translucent ice arms and stuff like that, which will probably be a big bad toy store exclusive or something else that we have to worry about if we're going to get it or not. It's just like these, it just sucks. Like it's cool, but like you had other characters that you're showing off that a lot of people are waiting for and you aren't really doing it you're just recasting the mold and i understood the first set the first set of ninjas made sense because your storm collectibles you were just starting off and releasing stuff and like getting your name out there and i accepted it i was like all right hey we'll just keep you know i'll, I'll invest then that money that you're getting from reusing that mold again you can invest into more figures and all that stuff it's just i don't know i know a lot of people are even went, waiting for jin kazama from tekken and i just I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's sort of my rant on Storm Collectibles right now. I mean, and if you guys are into Storm Collectibles as well, I mean, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this. What did you guys think about those convention reveals? Did you guys like them? I mean, it, it's crazy. And then, let's get that box out of the way. I got a special box we got from my good old pal, 
Shoki. Um, and before I start taking stuff out of the box, I am going to show you guys some of the wording and artwork that was on the box. Now, he does say, sorry, it took so long. But you know what, Shoki? I mean, it's a pandemic, man. I was in no hurry for this box. And, uh, you know, anytime I'm getting anything from anybody, I'm not in a rush because stuff happens. Life happens. We also got some uh, little special art here. It looks like a meth head. It's got some earrings and looks like maybe braces or cavities, some piercings in the eyebrows, some, some good stuff. So, had to adjust camera. It's just like this light back here. This window is, it's, I need to get a curtain for it of some sort because it's just like making the camera go all crazy. And, uh, or I just need to like flip it. But then you'll see this wall that's behind the camera, which isn't, I mean, it's still cool. But I just like sitting this way and being comfortable. Um, but getting back to the box I got from Shoki, let's see what we got. We got some bubble wrap in here. Look at that. Oop. All right, so we got ourselves a Stepford Cuckoo. We got ourselves a second Stepford Cuckoo. And a third Stepford Cuckoo. I did not see these in the wild. I did not. Um, I know Nate Simmons and some other collectors posted that they were on Walgreens' website. And uh, so I didn't jump on it because I know Shoki already got these and I already paid him for it. So I was just waiting to get them. And uh, you have to get three because each one of these come with alternate heads. You can have them all blonde or you can have them each with their own unique head. Um, really cool looking characters. And they'll go good with that... Uh, the Emma Frost, the Walgreens exclusive Emma Frost, but it's just again like these exclusives. These were these were sort of a pain a little bit, and that when they came on Walgreens wasn't even too long ago, uh, when they recently were up where you could actually get a hold of them and order some. I think uh, my buddy Tony ordered uh, all three, so I got some stuff for Cuckoo. So thank you, Shoki, for that. And we have ourselves a secondary box from. Big Bad Toy Store that he had inside. I cannot, like, underneath my hand right here is a uh, a very graphic image. And I have to say, it's very impressive. It looks like it's built up pressure and then it started to, you know, release. Um, if you guys know me <laughs> at all, um, I, I do artwork and I can draw and all that stuff. So I love to add little funny goofy uh very very uh inappropriate imagery sometimes on boxes of stuff or inside the boxes because it's fun and it's funny it's a kick so he did the same thing so i can't show that that would be bad um this has bubble wrap oh, oh i see what it is i am super stoked to have that this is solid I just make sure there's nothing else in here because sometimes oh crap lots of peanuts maybe that's the go with the uh image on the box sorry i'm wasting your guys's time because i am sort of looking through just to make sure there's anything else that i'm missing so nope there isn't all right let's get that in here so i wasn't one of the lucky people with uh the neca movie turtles to get that crazy set and uh this is not the same one that he showed me pictures of originally so he had he, he had uh something he custom made and had some extra things on it but he it's this one's different so anyway the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie set came with a weapons rack and I didn't get that set. It came with other things as well, but Shoki actually got measurements and made his own weapon rack. So you can actually put stuff on there. Like another one he made, he had like a, I think the foot or some, some symbol up at the top up here. Uh, he had like little nubs on the side to hold size and stuff, but this one's a different one. Maybe he wasn't happy with it, which I understand as being a creating person, creative person, should I say. Uh, I 
myself. If it's not good enough for me, I wouldn't send it to anybody. But this is really nice and clean. You can see all the spots that I can use to put the rack, uh, put the racks. We can put racks on racks. But no, we can put the weapons on here. So that'll be awesome to put on display with my turtles. So thank you, Shoki. This couldn't have been easy to do. I know this was done out of, I think, some old uh, Gundam plastic pieces. And they were all measured and cut. And it, it's clean. This is clean as heck. Um, I don't know. He might be selling these. Not too sure. Um, do see some. Look at that, Shoki. Right there, man. Look at that. See that extra cut there from your X-Acto blade? You must have slipped out of your hands. But no, this is awesome. And it feels pretty solid. Like if I were to crush it, yeah, it'd probably break. But I mean, it doesn't feel cheap at all. So that's freaking awesome. My turtles have a weapon rack. Or my foot soldiers have a weapon rack. However I want to do it. And that's the great thing about it is it doesn't necessarily have to be with turtles. It could be with any figure that I want to put like swords and stuff on. Uh, and sort of getting into the NECA thing today. Today. Today is the 16th. NECA releasing those Casey Jones, the tune, cartoon Casey Jones and slashed or damaged foot soldier metalhead on Target's website. Uh, I think Walmart had the two packs uh, in store. The, the old, they re -redid, redid the movie Turtles, sets of two, and they were Walmart exclusives, but I, I also had them on their website. But let's talk about that. As you guys know, you've seen me review tons of NECA figures. I love them. I love NECA's figures. I love the detail. But the problem is, it's getting really ridiculous. Some of these companies, and I understand as a company, you're, the bottom line is making money, making profits. And ne like NECA has an issue where it comes to... I guess they don't have certain rights to sell Turtles figures or something like that in the U.S. because Playmates is holding that or something. Like, I wish there would be some sort of agreement that could happen because whenever NECA releases something, bots slash scalpers just gobble it all up. So today I was uh, meeting up with a fellow collector, Mike Campsey. We were hanging out and I'm like, dude, 2 p.m. Eastern, Casey Jones is going up. I wanted Metalhead too, but Casey Jones is my all-time favorite character from Ninja Turtles even from the comics I was like I gotta have Casey Jones did I get the movie to two pack no I've been searching Walmart's almost multiple times a week I have buddies that are checking multiple times a week and still zitch zero no Casey and Raph movie two pack so I'm like oh my god when I even tried getting that online it was a big fiasco it was the biggest crap show that anybody's ever dealt with and it's just like man if I lived internationally, though, you can go to NECA's international site. You could, you could, you, you could have ordered it. They had plenty there for international, which is awesome. That's awesome. Why can't you do something like that for us in the U.S.? You know. So then, that I'm like, all right, I'm gonna keep trying. But today I'm like, I got this Casey Jones. This is gonna be in the bag. I had the page on Target's website ready. The, it was like the filler, or whatever. I have signed into my account, had my card already on file. I'm ready, like just to go and select and go. And I was gonna aim for two. It looked like they had a limited two because I was gonna try to help out other collectors as well and not make a profit. Like legitimately, when I say help out collectors, I'm looking at what I invested and in. if you're in a different state, the shipping. So cost shipping. That's it. That's how I roll. And uh, so I'm sitting there refreshing, refreshing. I started at like 150, refreshing on my phone over, over, over again. NECA posts on, uh, I think, their Instagram, may have been Facebook too. It might have been all their, their social medias. They're like, yeah, Target will be up at 2 p.m. Eastern. You know, there'll be a delay. It may not be exactly 2 p.m. So I'm like, okay, cool. So maybe like 2.10, whatever. So I'm just keep going, keep going. Nothing, nothing. 2.30 hits, I'm like, this is something, something's not right. I jump back because, you know, on, on my phone, I'm sort of jumping between, but I'll stay in there until that thing refreshed. I was like, I can't miss this. Come to find out people on computers were already able to, you know, get it. You know, it sold out super quick and it, and I can't even say they got it because some people were getting it to where it allowed them to put it in the cart when they tried to process it, kept popping up errors. So that was another crap show. But the bots got them, like, it's ridiculous. If you go to eBay right now and you search Casey Jones or, or NECA Casey Jones, you can just see the resellers and all that stuff. And it's 
it's just getting ridiculous. And I understand that resellers wouldn't exist if we didn't invest or pay for those higher prices. But sometimes these items, we want them, and the only way to get them is that way. So it's just sort of getting ridiculous. I mean, it, it's it's making me be like, hey, once I can try to get what I can to finish my neck of turtles, and I feel like I'll be done. Because I know they're doing that uh, Krang uh, robot body with the baby shredder and all these other ones. It's like, if it's going to be this type of crap show, like, what's the point? It's not fun anymore. You know, it's just like, it's taking the fun. I don't mind going onto a website and being rushed and that, that excitement and, and, and all that stuff. And it's like, okay, you don't get it. You can go and search stores and find them. They're just not even pr giving enough to the stores. It's, it's just getting, it's getting ridiculous. It's, it's becoming unfun. To collect NECA turtle figures, and it's unfortunate because it's like I love their love their figures. Um, I got a tons of their horror figures, of Pan's Labyrinth and stuff like that, and I just get really bummed because it's you know I have money that I want to give them as a company to get a figure of a movie figure and a cartoon character figure of to of of a character I care about, you know, that I really really love from my childhood. And, uh, yeah, they just don't, they'd rather allow bots to happen. You know, maybe I need to try to figure how, how those things work, but no, it's, it's just getting a little old and, uh, I can just stick with figures and stuff that I know that's going to be what I can get, you know, even there's other exclusives that ex have existed, you know, like, uh, Hasbro Pulse, when they do exclusives and stuff like that, a lot of times I can get them. Like, you can go to their website when they launch them, and you can pretty much get them, and you don't have issues. Like, why not do, I know they're doing that loot crate. Why not just invest all your turtle stuff into a loot crate of some sort? You know, that's still selling turtles in the U.S., but not, I guess, it's gray area for the Playmates thing. I'm not sure. I didn't even get that loot crate thing, because I didn't, none of the, I don't need a Bebop in a bunny outfit. Don't need an electrified video game turtle, because I don't collect the video game NECA figures, but... That's another thing. Comment down below if you collect Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle NECA figures. I mean, what do you guys think? Did you guys, any of you get a Casey Jones, either of the Casey Jones two-packs? How, how easy was it? You know, were you lucky enough? And if you did, awesome. I would love to, you know, hear some feedback, what you think about the figures, stuff like that. But just comment down below. What do you guys think of this whole Mez, or Mezco, I keep wanting to say Mezco, NECA fiasco. Just comment down below. Let me know. And that really sums up, oh, but it doesn't. Oh, did I get a delicious goodie from a fellow collector that I said I went and visited, Mike Hamsey, who is an amazingly talented man. I'm going to show you this item just like briefly. And here we have it. Mike Hamsey's magical diorama bar that he made. He made me this dive bar and this thing is awesome. Bunch of pieces can be removed and the detail's insane. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look. This will have its own separate review because this thing is too gorgeous to not have its own video. And that sums up my mail haul and pickups video for today. Definitely, definitely some great stuff. And if you guys like what you saw, please hit that thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. All you subscribers and everybody that's hitting the subscribe button, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, it means the world to me. And everybody that's commenting, keep it up. It's awesome. I love talking to you guys and replying back. It's definitely a fun thing to do. And I want you guys to make sure if you want if you want to know when I post up a video, go ahead and hit the bell notification. But if you don't want to get notification, I understand because you can easily go to YouTube, Zap, and go to subscriptions and you'll see the new videos anyway, hopefully. Uh, it all depends on how the algorithm or whatever works, I guess. But the main thing is is I want you guys to have, you know, the best luck hunting, keep on collecting, and have a beautiful day.